Hey guys, my name is Francisco Hernandez and today I'm doing a review on a new product by Godox. Unfortunately, it's not a new light just yet, but it is an awesome type of product that I both highly recommend and use all the time and that's an Octobox. The specific Octobox that I'm going to be talking about in today's video is the new Godox 120L Parabolic Softbox. If you guys are wondering the differences between a Parabolic Octobox and a Shadow Octobox, that's something that definitely deserves its own video to talk about. But to give you guys a quick summary, a parabolic octabox is going to have a more narrow focused beam of light that's going to be similar to like a grid-like effect. And because it's going to be more focused and more narrow, it's going to have a bit more contrast. A shallow octabox is going to be more of a wider beam of light. And because it's wider, it's going to have a little bit less contrast. As always, with every product that I review, I'm going to show you guys a behind the scenes look into a portrait shoot they did using this product, the Godox 120L. So stay tuned to the end of the video to see both the footage and the photos that I created using this Octobox. Before I continue, I did want to let you guys know that this Octobox actually comes in two different sizes. It comes in a 90 centimeter version and a 120 centimeter version, which of course is the one that I decided to go with. And both of these Octoboxes actually come in two different variations. There's a light version and a heat resistant version. The main difference between the light version and the heat resistant version is the type of material that the rods are made out of. The light version has the rods that are made out of fiberglass, which of course are going to be very tough, but also light. The heat resistant version is going to have rods that are made out of metal, which of course are also really tough, but also more heat resistant. If you guys are interested in knowing the differences in weight between the two different variations, I'm going to go ahead and throw that information on the screen so you guys can see for yourself if you want to get the lighter version or the heat resistant version. I personally went for the lighter version because I tend to need to be more portable during my photo shoots. All right, so now that I told you guys that, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what this modifier comes with. The first thing that you'll see when you get this Octobox is that it comes in a nice carrying case that's going to be able to carry everything that you get with this modifier, of course. And when you open up the case, more than likely the first thing that you're going to see are either metal rods or fiberglass rods sticking out of the Octobox itself. And some more things that you're going to find inside of the case are going to be the inner diffusion panel and the outer diffusion panel, which of course are going to be something that you use if you want extra soft light. And 9 out of 10 times, I'm more than likely using both the inner diffusion and the outer diffusion of whatever Octobox that I'm using. You're also going to find a reflective liner, which is going to be part of the Octobox that you're going to add to the back of the Octobox so that no light spills towards the back. And the last thing that you're going to find is the Octobox adapter ring, which more than likely is going to be Bowen's mount. But of course, if you decided to go for another mount, it's going to be that mount. All right, so now I want to go ahead and tell you guys some of the pros and the cons of this modifier. And I'm going to go ahead and start with the pros because there's more pros than there is cons. One of the main pros that I can tell you right off the bat about this Octobox is that once you assemble it, it feels so sturdy and so tough and durable and I don't ever have to worry about it kind of collapsing on its own, which is actually something that I've experienced with cheaper Octoboxes in the past, whether strong winds made it collapse on its own, me bumping it slightly, making it collapse, or me putting it to the ground too fast, making it collapse on its own. And I don't feel like I'm ever going to have to worry about that happening to this specific Octobox. The second pro that I wanted to talk about is actually something that I mentioned towards the beginning of this video and it's that extra added contrast that you get using this Octobox. If you guys are familiar with my work at all, you would know that I'm a big fan of the retouching method of dodge and burn and the whole point of dodge and burn is to add some extra contrast to your images and using this Octobox, I feel like it has a built-in dodge and burn effect. So if I'm ever doing a photo shoot and I want that extra contrast or if you guys want that extra contrast in your images, then I would definitely recommend looking into getting this Octobox. The third pro that I wanted to talk about is something that I didn't realize I liked before because I never experienced it before and that's the reflective liner on the back of the Octobox. The reason why I'm saying it's a pro is because what I didn't realize with my other Octoboxes is sometimes I like to get a good grasp of the modifier before I attach it to the light that I'm using such as the Explore 600 for example. So I really want to get that good grasp before I attach it to the light and lock it into place and sometimes depending on the modifier that I'm using, the Octobox that I'm using, getting that grasp is kind of hard. So the fact that this reflective liner is removable, I can just remove it, get that good grasp, attach the light, and then put the reflective liner back on. And it's something that I definitely did enjoy while using this Octobox. The fourth and last pro that I wanted to mention about this Octobox is the price. At the time of making this video, it costs only $120. And I know that might seem a little bit expensive considering the fact that it's not an easily collapsible one. It's definitely something that you have to experience for yourself because once I experienced how well constructed it was, and how great the light output was, it started to feel like it easily cost more than $200. So the price is definitely a pro in my opinion. The first con about this Octobox that I have to mention is easily the fact that you have to assemble it. And if you guys know me, you know that I tend to recommend Octoboxes that open and close very quickly. And this was one that's not as quick as, you know, a couple of seconds. 
but it is kind of fairly quick at about maybe a minute, maybe a minute and a half to assemble it. But of course I shoot on location all the time. So that's why I would have to assemble it and disassemble it. But if you tend to shoot in studio all the time, then this is something that you wouldn't have to experience, you know, having to assemble it over and over again. You can just assemble it and just leave it in your studio. The second con about this Octabox is the fact that it does not come with a grid. So although I rarely use one myself, I know that you guys out there might want one. So if you want to get this Octabox and you want a grid, then expect to pay an additional, I think $30, I believe for that grid. The last con about this Octabox is a big one, both literally and figuratively. And that's because I didn't realize how big it was from the front to the back and a little bit from the top of the bottom. Overall, I just didn't realize how big it was until I actually got it and used it. And even when I took my behind the scenes photos, I realized that it was a pretty big Octabox. Like I mentioned before, I typically use shallow Octaboxes, so I didn't realize how long and big this one was gonna be until I used it. If you wanna get this Octabox and you work in a studio space, definitely be conscious about how much space you have to work within because it is a big modifier. And of course, if you wanna shoot with this Octabox outdoors, then you won't have to worry so much about the space. All right, so that's pretty much it for my review of the Godox P120L Parabolic Softbox. I hope you guys enjoy the BTS footage and the photos that you're about to see. And if you enjoyed the video at all, don't forget to give the video a like and subscribe if you aren't already subscribed. And also if you already are subscribed or a new subscription, be sure to hit those bell notifications because I plan to do a couple of giveaways coming soon and hitting those bell notifications is really gonna help you out. And the way that you guys can help me out is by commenting with what you want me to give you guys. So whatever has a lot of likes is more than likely gonna be the thing that I give away. I'm thinking right now either the Explore 600 or a pair of Godox 8200s, which is the Evolve 200s in case you didn't know that. All right, take care guys, and I'll see you in the next video. Actually, before I show you guys the footage, I just wanna give a quick thanks to everybody who was actually in the video that went to the photo box that are part of the video that you're about to see. And I also thank the model for making it out to the model last minute. If you guys are curious about any of the gear that I used in the video, it's all gonna be listed in the description area below. All right, take care guys.